I feel like I never know what to do with my hands. Hey guys, so I'm... That was so awkward. Hey guys. Sorry. I'm getting ready to clean my room, but before I do, I wanted to sit down and quickly film like a little haul of things that I got from Walmart because I was so excited. I feel like I never know what to do with my hands. Anyways, um, it is like kind of late. I need to hurry up because I gotta put my six year old to sleep. Um, she has Zoom in the morning. But I'm like, I wanna film. So I'm gonna quickly film. So I think I mentioned I went to Walmart after work today and I'm just trying to make a little bit of a better effort just to feel a little bit more put together. I have plenty of makeup, guys. I actually got rid of a lot of things that were extremely expired, but. I went down the makeup aisle and I cruised it and they had some stuff very affordable. I don't know if it has anything to do with this pandemic or if there are pandemic prices. I have no idea, but I felt like things were a little bit more affordable than normal, so I grabbed a couple of things. I will insert prices to everything that I got, but first, this packaging suckered me in. This right here, I'll take it out of the package. Well, at least I'll take out mine kind of hard to tell but Marilyn Monroe it says it's new I'm pretty sure it's new but if it's not and you've already seen this I'm sorry I'm actually wearing coconut rose right now um I had popped it out of the package really quick just to kind of get a little peek ahead of time and it's super cute so I got coconut rose and strawberry strawberry I'm actually sending to my bestie um she said that her Walmart didn't have this and Marilyn Monroe is her girl so I had to buy at least something from the line so when I opened this the color shocked me if I have it on camera I don't know if I filmed that part but if I do I, I'll try to insert it um, but look at that bright old color I was like that wasn't what I was expecting in a balm but it's a tinted balm so it is so creamy and super super light I mean I'm wearing it on my lips right now and you can't really tell I don't know it's gonna focus there focused on me um it's like your lips but just like with a hint of color really really cute but I can't get over how beautiful let me just show you guys one more time up close in person now I just look how beautiful that is like I just want to stare at it I might need to go buy more pieces of this collection just because it's beautiful um the color is a little washed out but this is like a pale pink so I got two of those. Again, I'll insert prices. I love Wet n Wild because it's so darn affordable, but what I love more about it is it's cruelty. I can't talk. It's cruelty free. So I love Wet n Wild's highlighters. Now the highlighters that I wear currently, this looks more like a powdery highlighter. Let's see. Blush and Highlighter Duo. The ones that I have look more metallic, so I don't know if I'm going to love this. I'm hoping I do. But this color here for the blush reminds me so much of my go-to Luminoso, um, Milani Luminoso. So I, I wanted to try this, but I'm hoping I love the, the highlighter. I mean, I know no one's currently traveling, but... Um, these type of little duos are great when you're traveling so you don't have to bring multiple items you kind of have something convenient hold on sorry my throat is like super <sighs> scratchy okay so i got this and it's in i met someone i'm not gonna open it now but um when i do open it or should i open it should i open it i'm gonna open it Hold on. What just happened? It said on it, I met someone and that it was new, but the label under it says after sex glow. My camera didn't have enough memory. Already? <sighs> Y'all, why was this stinger on top of this? So I have no idea. Actually, let me read the back. It should tell me. So I don't think it's called I Met Someone. I think it's called F After Sex Glow because it's like completely one with the back packaging. But I'm just like... Oh, 
That's not bad. Okay, so that's the highlighter. Pretty sure I'm going to love the blush. Well, the blush is actually pretty sheer. So we'll see how that works on the cheeks a different day. But um, they totally got me on the name. Okay, and then I also got a really cool toned bronzer from Wet n Wild. This one is called Sunset Strip Tease. This one doesn't have a new label on it. So this one might might have been around for a while. I have no idea, but I just I haven't been in the makeup aisle in a while, so I don't know. So let me just quickly open this. Okay, use a clean finger. Okay. Oh, she's pretty. I don't know if the lighting is even doing it justice, but it's a really pretty cool tone, which cool tones are my favorite. It's not really warm at all. I mean, it has like a, just a hint of warmth, but it's mainly, I feel like, more of a cool tone. So I'm excited for this bronzer. Then, and then... No! No, and then! I got... My Walmart, by my job, never carried NYX, as far as I can remember, and they had this whole new section of NYX, which I'm all about, and I love NYX Butter Gloss, but I've never gotten this color. This one's Creme Brulee, but I've heard lots of good things about Creme Brulee. The one that I like is Praline, but Praline, it's like such a beautiful cool tone brown. It's just a little too dark for me, personally, for work. Um just because I'm, I'm with patients and stuff. So I try to keep, just for me, I try to keep it more on the natural side when it comes to lip wear in the office. So, I mean, I am already wearing my other lip balm, which I'm loving. Let's see this creme brulee. Oh yeah, she's pretty, she's nudie. She's gonna be really nice on the lips. I love me a good, like, nude. I do love cool tone nudes, but I haven't found the perfect sheer cool tone nude for myself. And then, Ardell Wispies are my favorite. They are the lash I always go back to. I feel like nothing can top an Ardell Wispy. Sorry, my lips are extremely shiny right now. Um, these were, I think, only $5.98. That's why I feel like, are you guys on pandemic prices? I mean, I don't mind. I, I will buy some makeup on pandemic price, but I just don't feel like the, these are usually that cheap. I don't know. I could be crazy. I could be. But talking about makeup, you guys, my friend just became a beauty influencer with Pharmacy. I'm so excited because she's been trying out the makeup before she promoted it, and her makeup has been looking so bomb. Um, I, I can't wait. I've already placed an order, so I'm should be getting an order within the next couple of weeks. Um, my first order, so I, I got a primer, a, a mist um, setting spray, eyeliner, mascara, and the mascara. So before I placed my order, I did do like a little bit of Googling and research, and I'm not saying like I, I went for reviews off of the site. I went based off of just like public reviews. They have really good reviews, so I'm really, really excited. So I placed, and everything is really affordable. So um, I got some makeup from Pharmacy, and then they ran out of my pressed powder shade. So once their powders are back in stock for my shade, I'm going to be getting a foundation and a pressed powder. So I'm excited. But I, I just feel like since life has kind of come to a pause, I mean, a pause to a sense, but just our day-to-day -day normal life is different right now. And I just haven't been put together. And I just want to feel a little bit more put together. <laughs> so I am trying to get a couple things that are affordable but that can make a girl feel pretty. So yeah, it was just a, a small little haul. And when my pharmacy package comes in, I will do an unboxing. And maybe I'll try to do a makeup video. My makeup video that I posted was my very first one. The lighting was horrible. Um, but I mean... I had fun doing it, so it can only go up from there. 
but um yeah hopefully i can get a makeup video up for you guys soon what else was i gonna say um i got a new camera i don't know if you guys can tell the difference but the quality is super bomb from what i can sell so far um I'm going to be doing a video all on like my Amazon purchases, but mainly also offer up. Um, I've just had the best, I don't want to say luck, but because I do like do a lot of research before I, I purchase, but I did get a pre-lift camera. But before this camera, I was using a Samsung NX Mini, which was like a really early, early, early model. And um, the lighting on that sucked so bad, but I told myself one it was what i could afford at the time two if i was going to um actually keep up with vlogging and youtube i needed to make it work with that camera and if i did then i can upgrade i, I didn't want to upgrade and invest into a really nice quality camera if i wasn't going to uh, be serious with my channel so being that I've been pretty consistent on uploading um for Mother's Day I, I did purchase myself a, a pre-loved camera which I am in love with and I hope the quality looks a lot better so you guys you don't even know like I have nothing to talk about right now because my life is extremely boring I literally go to work and come home do my essential runs that's it and I've been carrying my, my new camera with me because I want to vlog so bad but I'm just I have nothing to talk about because life is on slow So, um, I just, I've been really, really excited about my new camera. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little clip. I did do with my previous camera, so I know the quality is going to be completely different. I did, um, some shopping. I took you guys along with me. If you guys haven't seen that yet, you're getting ready to see it and then I also did some keto chicken um, keto fried chicken and it came out bomb so I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys so I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys too I can't talk oh my god but it looks like I need to charge my handy dandy camera so stop this here but I love you guys and if you guys aren't I'm gonna be putting my socials down below if you're interested in my keto journey, um, I suggest following me on Instagram and my um, Facebook group page is just more like little, I don't know, silly memes and a bunch of us just keeping in touch throughout the, the week. So you can feel free to follow me over there. I do try to do like little giveaways and stuff like that on my group page. So my socials will be down below. But yeah, I just wanted to hang out with you guys and chill. For a second do you guys like my shirt by the way isn't it so cute my mom got it for me for mother's day so with this pandemic my husband was the sweetest he downloaded some of my favorite childhood games like super mario brothers and or super mario world and uh yoshi story <laughs> so being that i've been hooked on video games recently my mom found this shirt and i just i love it and i thought you needed to know that because i saw yoshi peeking out for a second <laughs> okay guys, I'm just rambling. I'll talk to you guys later. Hi. Y'all got me on the name. <laughs> New camera, who it is? So cute. Lighting in my house sucks, but just giving it all a little try.